Hey there, everyone. This is Danielle, uh, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time, we got the remainder of the A-side moons in this kingdom that we can get. There is one we can't, which I discussed earlier, uh, because we can't actually sit down. We can only crouch permanently, and you need to sit down to get it. So we can't get that one, uh, but we got all the others. And in this video, we're going to open this moon rock, and we're going to get all the B-side moons. Uh, there's quite a few B-side moons in this kingdom because it's gigantic. Uh, so this may take a while. Uh, I believe we can get every B-side moon, so we shouldn't have to worry about missing anything else. I'm going to start by heading this direction. There we go. Yeah, you can bounce off your cap if you time it right there. It's just a little annoying. I usually mess it up. There's a moon to tear somewhere. I can't remember where. I think maybe there's crates? Uh, nope. Oh, right, right, the RC car. Right, so yeah, we have to do the RC car race again with a better time than before in order to get a moon. Uh, we won't do that straight away though. Uh, some other stuff that I'd like to have a look at. Here there's a timer challenge. As you can see, the moon's all over there. Um, the easiest way to do this, even in a normal run, is to use the scooter. So I'm gonna go grab a scooter. Uh, and bring it over here. Just park it about here. There we go, perfect. So yeah, you just have to race your way over there carefully, going across this swinging thing here. It's not too tricky, but it's a little scary. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's a good start. Um, during that, you know, basically first try, which I usually don't manage to do with these timer challenges, because a lot of them are really tough. Case in point, that one. <laughs> uh, there's another moon right here somewhere. We already did the timer challenge, though, so it must be something else. I forget what. Uh, it might be a crate we can break on around here somewhere. Yeah, say so we already did that one. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other one is. What we can do. Uh, It's not just like up there, is it? It might just be up there. We actually need to go up to the rooftop for a moon anyway, so if we have to do it for two moons, that's not a problem. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem anyway, but we have to get all the moons. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's up there. Okay. Uh, you can see there's one of these, um, moon rock sub-areas up here, so we're gonna hop up here and do that, since we're right in the area. I forget which one this is. Oh, it's this one! Uh, this will be important later. Um, but basically, you just gotta hop on the motor scooter here. Hopefully not just randomly hop off. You just have to basically race these platforms that will disappear after a little while by scooting really fast. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, It requires that, you know, you're good with the motor scooter, but as long as you're okay with the motor scooter, you'll be fine. As you can see, um, this is the third and final part. This part, there are two moons in here. Uh, you have to go up these crumbling platforms to get the trickier moon, which is up here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, and then the other moon, you just have to go to the end. Uh, this part doesn't disappear, so it's pretty easy. You can basically ignore all the tanks everywhere. They don't do anything. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So we're making good progress. That sub area is done. First try without any trouble. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let me see, where should we go next? Still a bird flying around, but I believe that's 
just the, the one from before. I don't think there's an extra bird, which is good because I don't like birds in this game. <laughs> um. Okay, um, yeah, we want to get up here to the, to the gardens because if we head over to that side... Uh, you can see there's a moon just there, so we just gotta do that to get it. Yeah! Easy peasy. Uh, and then we're gonna climb to the top of this piece because there's another moon up here. Or more specifically, there's a peach and tiara up here visiting the kingdom as part of their date. Oh, what a sweetie. Me too, babe. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she's saying the seaside kingdom. We don't have to go there. We're actually gonna go to the snow kingdom next. Uh, you can do them in either order. I don't know why she's suggesting the seaside kingdom next. Uh, because we actually went to the snow kingdom first. Uh, if you break open this box that's now here, there's a moon inside. Uh, to actually get it, you have to get onto that sign over there. It's not too tricky. Uh, this isn't normally too tricky. We'll see how we go. Whoop. Whoop. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's good. We're making good progress. Uh, I believe we need to revisit the germ room now. Because once you've opened the moon rock, the germ room over here will have an extra moon in it. Uh, Cappy will... I think this is the only one in the game that does this. See? There's an extra moon here now. Basically, one of these people is a hat-and-seek person. Uh, I'm not sure which. Because they're all facing the wrong way. Uh, if we spin around and look at them this way, we should be able to get a good look at them all. There we go. Yeah! And that's that's it done here, that's all we had to do. Uh, pretty easy. That one is freaking out about how there's so many heads here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, bop, bop. There we go, we can head out this way. Uh, okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna grab that life up hard because it fell down a couple of times. We could probably use one. Ba -da 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 -da. There we go. Uh, there's a new race to do, of course. Uh, there's two things over there by the park. There's another. There's two two more sub areas. There's three in this kingdom, which is pretty cool. Three uh, post game sub areas in the B side. Two moons over here. Uh, one of them you get from that bird. Right, there's a second bird. I forgot about that. Damn it. That's really annoying. All right. Basically, the bird is only flying around in this little area, just the park, so it's not too tricky compared to some of the other birds, but it's still annoying. Also, I can't see it now. Uh, Freaking bird. Oh, it's flying up too high, that's what's going on. Okay, yeah, it tries to avoid being hit, so it flies up higher to get out of your way. Uh, so that's something to watch out for. Ah, oh, I think I would have hit it if I hadn't actually bounced off Cappy. Damn. Um, I, this guy has kinship with birds, so it doesn't mean that the sparkling bird is going to come near him, so I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, we can also, this doggo here has the other moon. We just have to leave the doggo, I think, over this area is where the moon is. Uh, it's like the other dog moon back in Tostarina. They just have to dig in the right spot, and the moon will be revealed. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So, yeah, uh, this bird. I do not like the bird moons. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Okay, there's the bird. I think it's following a fairly predetermined route. 
actually. I don't think it's responding to our movement that much. Let's keep an eye on it, see if we can time ourselves right. Ah, close. I don't know if you can actually homing, homing hit the bird with a homing cap throw. I don't know if it actually works. I get the feeling it doesn't, but maybe it does. Also, I actually have to hold up on the, on the joystick to keep myself in position there. Yeah, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're making good progress. What do we have left? We have one moon just sort of hanging out in the area. We have two challenges to redo, and we have the two sub areas. Cool. Um. First up, let's make our way up here. I believe one of the sub areas is in this direction. Accidentally bonking is, is a good idea. I recommend it to all ages. Uh. Oh, it's only 81 moons. I thought there were 89. I'm really misremembering mis how many moons there were. Uh, the entrance to the suburb is just here somewhere. I don't quite remember where. Oh, there it is. So down here, where we got the purse earlier, we just got to head into the wall. And that gives us oh, a very dark area. Interesting. Uh, this area is full of those um, smashy swamp guys from, um, from Bowsette's castle. Also a bunch of coins, which is nice. Um, so there's one moon at the very top of this tower here, which we can climb up. We can use the swamp for some help, we don't really need to. They don't really swamps. I don't think they're called, I think they're called ogres or something. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't really look anything like Shrek. There we go. Ow! Um, but yeah, you can just gotta make your way up to the, the top. You can crawl under there, which is kind of cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! We do a pound there to make sure we land safely. Uh, the other moon you can get is just over there. Um, you can see there's some sparkling. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Um, there are actually invisible blocks here you can use to cross over, but you don't need them because you can just do this. It has to be harder to activate the invisible blocks because of the way our captors work while crouching. Uh, that's all there is to do here. Pretty simple area, not much to it. So that's that done. Uh, there's another sub area which is near the outside moon. So over this direction. There's also, there's also three purple coins just there I'm just going to grab. Since we're in pretty much the right area. Oh no! Thankfully, most of the places you can fall off a building here, you won't actually die, you'll just land on the ground because of the way the city is constructed. Uh, there, we're just going to grab these, there we go. And just hop back up. Uh, so this moon here, what you're supposed to do is hit this switch, which gives you a bridge to use, as you can see. Uh, you could actually just jump down from all the way up there to get it, uh, like we did with the um, scooter in the with the scooter to get to the higher parking lot. Uh, but we're going to do it the intended way, I think, because I think that's actually going to be a bit harder than doing it with the scooter. You have quite a bit of air control with the scooter for some reason. Uh, you could also do it without the scooter. Actually, you could just jump down with just Mario and do it that way. Anyway, yeah, you hit the switch. This timed ledge thingy appears. Just make your way. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, you can see that one's very easy. And you can just dive over here without any trouble. There we go. We have 88 purple coins. I wonder where the others are. Like, we've been pretty much everywhere. We've got nearly every moon, and you know, the moons we haven't got aren't near purple coins that we haven't got. It's just that we can't 
specifically do that moon. Um, I don't know. Anyway, there's a sub area down there, so we'll be heading down there next. That didn't quite go the way I planned, but, you know, that's fine. Oops. There we go. Ah, uh, I forget which one this is. Uh, no, we already did this one. That's right. Okay, which one have we still not done? Uh, oh, right, right. The one over near the race. Okay, well, we can do that. It's on top of that building there. The one in front of us. So, we can make our way over that way. I don't know if we can make a jump all the way over there. Well, not if we do that. We can't. And basically, you just have to use the power line to get up, I think. We can also go from the other direction, but it's easy to do this. There we go. So the race is just here. We'll be doing it again in a second, but first I'm going to do the sub area. Since they're in basically the same spot, it doesn't really matter what order we do them in. Might be some purple coins up here, actually. Let me just have a look around. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oops. There are some purple coins here, but we already got them. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Yeah, the music in this area is really, really good. Okay, let's try this one more time. I missed some purples off the edge somewhere that I've forgotten about. There are often like a trio of purple coins just hanging off the top and edge that you have to throw Cappy down to get. It's a little frustrating. Alright, so now we're up here, we can hop into this pipe, and do the last sub-area, which I've forgotten. I don't remember what's in this one. Oh, it's this one, right. Okay, so what you're doing here is, there's a bunch of hammer bros, and you're just basically platforming past them. Uh, you have to use a hammer bro to get one of the moons, but not to get the other one, so we're going to try to avoid using the hammer bros as much as possible, because hammer bros can't crouch, and I think that would make this a bit easier. If we could, if we could stop crouching. So let's just keep it tricky. Uh, there we go. Uh, so the moon, the one we need, the moon we need a hammer bro for is see that rock over there. Uh, we want to break that rock because there's a moon inside, uh, and you can't break rocks without the help of a capture. So let's just a hammer bro. So basically, it's a little bit of a hammer bro platforming challenge because of the weird way they move. It can be a little tricky to make your way over here. But not that tricky. There we go. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that is the secret of the two moons. The other one is just the end of the area, as you might expect. As you can see, it's just over there past this scaffolding. Oops. Accidentally dived. Uh, I did not intend to do that. Uh, we can just redo that part though, that's not a problem. As you can see, you can speedrun this area pretty well. Although, if you mess it up like that, you have a problem. <laughs> So yeah, if you take this slow and careful, or you can just basically just cheese the whole thing, just run all the way and do a lot of jumps and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, let's 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 do this seriously now. I am messing up a lot more than I was a second ago. I don't know why. Um. Okay. Let's just give this another shot and see how we go. That's more like it. That's what I was trying to do before. Oops. 
Yeah, so the hammer guards can just jump on you, which is really annoying. So watch out for that. That's not good. They can also kill each other, which is a bit helpful. Um. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we have 14 moons. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there are two more to do, so there'll be a total of 16 here. Uh, we'll do the race next, because it's right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so this race is a little harder because it's Gold Cooper, but I don't think anyone thinks of the take the power lines to the top of the tower and just jump down strat. Uh, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. He's supposed to use those forks to get up, obviously, but we're not going to do that. Accidentally hit balls. Oh no! That's not good. I accidentally dived. Just the whole motion control thing biting me again. It's kind of confused about if you're in first or not as you do this sort of thing. There we go. That's my best time. Amazing fast, bro. Yeah! As you can see, 15 moons. Uh, if we look at the map here, there's just one more, which is the RC Car Challenge. So basically we have to do it again, but faster. Uh, I forget exactly what the time we need is, but it's kind of tricky. It might take me a few tries. Uh, of course, because this is based around a capture, the fact that we're crouching isn't effective. This is the normal play. Uh, I think if you listen to one of these people, they actually tell you what the time is. 26 seconds. Alright. Yeah, the controls are pretty weird, um, as you can see, using both analog sticks. The left analog controls your acceleration, the right analog is steering. So it's basically, you know, any old top-down uh, racing game, but with weird controls. You have a lot of control over how much you accelerate and all that, because that's all analog, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm not going to do 26 seconds here. 27, see? Close, but no cigar. Let's get another shot. Yeah, you have to like do the corners really quick like I'm doing here. Uh, if you hit the walls, that slows you down. So basically you want to not do that. That was really close. Oh, uh, we'll give it one, one, one more shot. We should be fine. We should be fine. So yeah, we have to keep capturing Jeff from accounting here until we get it. I don't know why he's both outside and inside. It's the same guy. It's pretty weird.
Okay, I'm hitting a lot of walls here, which isn't good, as I mentioned. Yes! Just made it! Oh, wow. Look how close that is. Wow. Okay. And there's the moon. So we're gonna uncapture. Grab it. Yeah! So, that's all of the moon rock rooms, as you can see from this list here. Uh, the only moon we haven't got in this kingdom, which Togatu told us about, is Bench Friends. And we cannot get Bench Friends. It is impossible. So, we cannot 100% this kingdom, but we can get close. <sighs> a shame. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go cash in these moons and make our way over to Shavaria, which is our next kingdom to visit. As you may remember, we didn't finish the story in Shavaria. Uh, one of the four little sub-areas was giving me a bit of trouble, so I never ended up doing that one. Uh, I will do it now. It's definitely possible. Boom. Da -da -da. Uh, but... Head off to the next kingdom. Yeah, the, um, the multi-moon here is based around using a capture. It's another race thing. So, I wasn't super enthused to do it earlier because, you know, you can't crouch while in a capture, so it's just a normal game. But, we will be doing it this time. Uh, once we get to the Snow Kingdom, as you may recall, it was very blizzardy. It, it'll be like this until we finish the race for some reason. It doesn't really make sense that the blizzard would be stopped by us winning the race, but that's how it works. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and next time we'll be finishing off the story moons in this kingdom. Probably grabbing a few more on the way. Uh, see Mario's getting covered in, like, snow and stuff. Another one of those neat little effects that this game has. Environmental effects that I like. They're cute. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff to be done up here on the surface, but you pretty much can't do any of it until you clear the blizzard. So we'll be able to do the story moons first, pretty much. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching.